Hello, my name is Adonis Espana, and we support the Trans-Pacific Partnership. We think the Trans-Pacific Partnership does more good than harm. The Trans-Pacific Partnership, or the TPP, came into effect in 2006 as a secretive multinational trade agreement that threatens to rewrite international rules. The TPP also removes tariffs, tariffs on imports and exports. Tariffs are taxes put on trades. The TPP provides a cheap solution to trade between countries. There are many pros of having allies, and since America is in a partnership with these 12 different countries, that strengthens our bonds with these nations, so eventually, if we are ever in need, they can help us. My first assertion is that exports are important. Exports are very important because that is how we get our goods. More than 70% of the world's purchasing power is located outside of the U.S. The U.S. exports of goods and services totaled to $2.1 trillion in 2011. The exports of goods and services had trended to about 13% of our GPT, gross domestic product. This is the total value of goods and services provided in one country in a year. The more exports we have and the more strength they have, this can allow and affect the current account deficit. The current account deficit is the value of imports of goods and services, and incomes are greater than the value of exports. This basically means the profit of trades. America's current account deficit was $131 billion in the first quarter of 2016. This supports one in 12 jobs in the US. The TPP would eliminate about 18,000 tariffs. This would make exports less costly. These cheaper exports will translate into more exports and sustain more good paying jobs. These jobs pay up to about 13 to 18 percent more than the national average. Also, 9.7 million jobs are related or supported by U.S. goods and services. My second assertion is that trade helps support peace. This reinforces peaceful relations among nations. The TPP is an important expression of U.S. commitment and leadership in the Asia Pacific promoting stability and shared prosperity. The two sides will trade more often than usual, which will help them look for the good in each other and prevent wars. For example, if a nation sells its best deal to another nation, the businessmen will make a lot of profit in exchange. This will result with both businessmen being happy and they would oppose war. There are about 12 countries in the middle of the ratification process. Countries include the US, Japan, Singapore, Peru, and more. The more countries that complete the ratification process for the TPP, the more world peace can be improved. The more trade we make, the better of a chance we can have allies to help us. Allies are important for peace around the world. My third assertion is that we can improve our living with trade. We can improve our living by getting different products from different countries. If our products were made in the US, they would cost a lot more iPads could cost up to $15,000, and shoes could cost up to $600. This is a slight possibility if Donald Trump doesn't finish the ratification process for the TPP. The reason the things made in America can cost so much is the minimum wage is higher in America, so we have to pay more for labor. Due to this, most of the money is used to pay the workers for labor and not as much for the material. Trade also helps increase wages for families. So, does the TPP do more good than harm? Yes, overall the TPP is good because it helps people get more jobs which are high paying. It helps a lot of people and will improve the way we live. This can help the children of our country grow in safe neighborhoods and have a better childhood if all the people in their families have good supporting jobs. The agreement adds $223 billion a year to the incomes of workers in all the countries, with $77 billion of that going to U.S. workers. This is a quote from Neil Vogel, who has been researching the pros and cons of the TPP. We strongly agree that the TPP can improve our future, and if we can continue the ratification process, the TPP will have a positive effect for the future. Thank you. Are my opponents ready? Are the judges ready? Is the time speaker ready? Is my team ready? 
to begin. Imagine secret negotiations being made behind your back, where big businesses get to call all the shots, and you have to get tricked into believing false information. Sounds like a bad dream, right? Well, it's actually a bad reality, thanks to the TPP, or the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Hi, my name is Kai Corey, and my partner and I firmly negate the solution that the Trans-Pacific Partnership does more good than harm. To rebut the first assertion that my the, the first proposition speaker made, he stated that there will be many jobs made from the, being a part of the Trans-Pacific Trans Partnership. Although 200,000 new jobs will be made, there will also be 680,000 jobs lost. My first assertion is that any country a part of the Trans-Pacific Partnership can be directly sued from corporations by passing court systems. This is due to the fact that the Trans-Pacific Partnership document allows corporations to empower to change regulations, rules, government actions, and court rulings. This has made a very large impact on certain countries a part of the Trans-Pacific Partnership. For example, according to the BBC, the British Broadcasting Corporation, which is a well-trusted European news source, in 2012, Philip Morris, a cigarette and tobacco company, sued three, co sued three countries, Australia, Uruguay, and Norway, because they had anti-smoking campaigns and packaging to educate the public about the harms of tobacco. This would obviously affect, the, affect Philip Morris' business industry, which, under the Trans-Pacific Partnership, gave them the rights to sue. Another example of this is the North American Free Trade Agreement, which includes Mexico, the United States, and Canada. In this agreement, there is the same agreement to allow corporations to change government actions, court rulings, and etc. In June of 2016, TransCanada, a North American energy company, sued the United States under this agreement for rejecting the proposal of the Keystone Pipeline, an oil pipeline system, and demanded $15 billion in costs and damages, as well as considering it a violation to the agreement. My second additional assertion is that the Trans-Pacific Partnership contains many loopholes when talking about animal trafficking. This is because the wording of the document doesn't clearly state that animal, traffic is, animal trafficking is illegal or that there will be any penalization if it happens. In the Trans-Pacific Partnership document, it states that the document shall, quote, promote the long-term conversation of sharks, marine turtles, seabirds, and marine mammals, end quote, and uses words like take measures to combat instead of using words like prohibit. Sentences like these might trick you into believing that this document is doing good for the environment, but to what extent is considered appropriately taking measures to combat, and when does it become illegal or against the document? Well, that's the thing. The Trans-Pacific Partnership document doesn't say. For my third and final additional assertion is that secret negotiations have and will be made without public participation. For example, the Australian negotiating team is reported to have been upset about a rule that was made by the Trans -Pacific for the Trans-Pacific Partnership document without them. This would have stopped the way that the Australian government negotiates with pharmaceutical companies. If accepted, this rule would result in a big increase in what Australia pays for prescription medication. So to go over all of my assertions, my first assertion is that any country part of the Trans-Pacific Partnership can be directly sued by corporations bypassing court systems. My second additional assertion is that the Trans-Pacific Partnership contains many loopholes when talking about animal trafficking. And my third assertion is that secret negotiations have and will be made without public participation. Thank you. with 20 years of senior experience in the economic analysis and business strategy, 
working for the major international corporation, stated that the TPP has $223 billion a year to income incomes of workers in all countries, with $77 billion of that going to U.S. workers. My second assertion is that the TPP helps people get jobs. According to Robert E. Scott, who is an expert in international economics and trade manufacturing policy from the Economic Policy Institute, Institute stated that the TPP helps create 5.8 million U.S. jobs, 40%, about 2.3 million of those jobs are manufacturing. The TPP also boosts exports and economic growth, creating more jobs and prosperity for the 12 countries involved. It increases exports by $305 billion per year by 2025. U.S. exports would also increase by $123.5 billion, focusing on machinery, especially electronic, articles, plastic, and agriculture industries. My third and last assertion is that the TPP helps lower costs on things. So let's say you're buying a bottle of water that costs a dollar to make. So if you ship it to other countries, it would be a dollar fifty because of the tax or tariff. But if we withdraw from the TPP, the water will cost probably about three dollars. On the recent Hawaii news now, uh, Menehune Water is uh, scared because Donald Trump might withdraw from the TPP, meaning that the, their water will cost a lot more. And since the water costs a lot more, people won't really buy it, and, since, and now they will lose money. My first assertion was the TPP helps workers get money. My second assertion was the TPP helps people get jobs. And my last assertion was the TPP helps lower costs on items. Thank you. meat and poultry that do not meet the U.S. food safety standards. 
the U.S. Food and Drug Administration expect, inspects less than 1% of all seafood for health hazards coming into the U.S. So with Malaysia and Vietnam, which are major seafood exports, bringing in their seafood into the U.S., there would be way more health hazards. Um, one in every nine seafood is infected. The TPP's rules state that they can bypass our domestic food safety laws and regulation regulations, including border inspection, laboratory testing, and standards on chemicals. Um, so my assertions were human rights would be undermined and the food being brought into America isn't safe to eat. Thank you. Are you going to go Oh, so now you're going to plug me out. <laughs> so I'm going to use the button. I don't know. Yeah. Um, so I also, I'd like to rebut what Jason said about how the prices of things in America would go down, but actually, the prices in medicine would actually go up, which would, like life-saving medicines, prices would go up, and then people wouldn't want to, like, they can't afford to buy it. So, yeah. Um, so our best arguments are job loss, and the TPP states that 200,000 jobs, new jobs would be created, but we're actually losing jobs from the TPP. And then also, corporations suing, so any country, a part of the TPP can sue America or America can sue any country part of the TPP, um, bypassing all of the countries, um, like laws, so, and then there's also many loopholes in the document like animal trafficking and yeah. So not only Americans are affected by the TPP um, for suing, anyone can sue anyone a part of the TPP. So it's not just America can get sued, but we can also sue other countries. Um, other jo other countries will lose jobs too because. If we're, if we're exporting a lot of, for example, like vegetables or something, maybe a country that normally exports a lot of vegetables, they won't have as many jobs because we're exporting a lot of the vegetables. And then the probability for suing is very likely to happen because if they ship the wrong thing or anything goes wrong with the exports or imports, they can sue like really easily. And then job loss is also sure to happen because um, because other countries can make the same things we're making and they can sell it for cheaper, which will make the jobs decrease.
the TPP affects everyone in the world, or everyone a part of the TPP. So this is why me and my partner are against the TPP. The timekeeper and judge writing is the is 1990. Hi, I'm Keone. I would like to rebut some of my opponent's points. My opponent said most of the food brought is disease, but most products that are traded are not foods. This will help climate change even if it was foods because people would buy more local grown food. So does the TPP do more good than harm? Yes, it does, and I'm going to say some of my team's best arguments. Trade helps with the peace between the countries. The trade reinforces peaceful relations among the nations, since the two sides will be trading more often than usual. It will help them look for the good in each other and reduce um, and prevent wars. Our next argument is that exports are important. This is important because this provides 1 in 12 jobs. The TPP would eliminate 18,000 tariffs and have more good paying jobs. Our other strong argument is that things will be cheaper if we made things and bought it from places outside of the US. If we cut trade, items like iPhones and clothes would cost more. The items will cost more from the wages of labor in America. For the magnitude of this, the magnitude of this resolution is pretty high. At the most, about 800 million people will be affected by the TPP. The probability that the TPP will take effect is a smaller chance because the U.S. is against it and will not try to complete the ratification process. On Monday, Donald Trump said, I'm going to issue a notification of intent to withdraw from the Trans-Pacific Partnership, which means he'll try to withdraw on day one. He's credible because he's our next president. Another reason some of the changes would not happen is because Vietnam is against it too. The TPP will have an immediate effect because jobs will be provided right now from the TPP. Most of the changes will happen soon and not in the long run. Even though it will happen soon, it will have a positive effect for our future. Thank you.